This video demonstrates an Endurica CL workflow using Endurica Viewer to visualize results. This finite element model of a tire will be analyzed. The tire is made up of eight different rubber compounds. We first want to analyze these different materials using Endurica CL. We define each compound in the HFI file and request different material outputs. Here we request the Verify Fatigue Crack Growth Rate output the Verify Stress Strain Output, and the Strain Life Map Output, which is used to generate hay diagrams. We submit the Endurica CL job from the command line, which creates an HFO file containing the output results. Endurica Viewer is then used to open the HFO file and browse the results. Here are the hay diagrams for each of the eight materials. All of the viewable outputs that are in the OpenHFO file can be seen in the list on the left side of the window. These outputs can be viewed by double-clicking the name. On the right side of the window, the selection arrows are used to click through the different material results. Next, we use Endurica CL and Viewer to calibrate our crack precursor sizes for each material. We use the crack size calibration output along with experimental strain life measurements for this process. After running the job and opening the results in Viewer, we can specify the target life for each material one at a time. This target life was the life from the experimental results. Viewer places a marker on the calibration curve that highlights the crack precursor size that would result in the target life. This precursor size is what will be used in this material's fatigue definition. This process of calibrating the precursor size is repeated for each of the eight materials. Now that the materials have been analyzed and calibrated, we can move on to the tire FEA analysis. We will analyze two loading conditions on the tire. The first is slowly rolling under a vertical load, which is shown on the left. The second case on the right is the tire under the load while traveling at 240 km per hour. At this high speed, the tire develops standing waves which result in a more complex and variable strain history. To analyze these two cases, we export the strains to an HFI file and use Endurica CL's rolling feature to define the duty cycle as one revolution of a single cross-section of the tire. We submit the Endurica CL jobs to compute the fatigue life at each element. The HFO file contains the fatigue lives, which can be added to the finite element model geometry to be viewed as a contour plot. Here we see that the life of the tire at high speeds is over an order of magnitude less than the slowly rolling tire. Now that we know the elements that give the shortest life, we can take a closer look at the conditions at this location. Two new HFI files are set up to output the strain energy density history, the cracking energy density history, and the damage sphere for the critical elements. After running the Endurica CL jobs and opening the HFO files in Viewer, we can see how the SCD and CED histories compare between the two models. The static tire experiences one event at the footprint of the tire, while the high-speed tire experiences multiple events around the circumference of the tire. The CED history also shows that the two tires experience closed and open cracks on the critical crack plane throughout the history. At times when the crack is open, a filled circle symbol is used, and at times when the crack is closed, a cross symbol is used. The damage sphere can also be viewed to see the orientation of the critical crack plane as well as the fatigue lives for all other crack planes that were analyzed during the critical plane search. The damage sphere orientation in the viewer should be set so that it matches the orientation of the local element coordinate system in the finite element model. The Damage Sphere Viewer has other helpful options for visualizing the data, such as highlighting multiple crack planes that fall under a given threshold and turning on or off different features of the Damage Sphere. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.